Well, the atmosphere is absolutely electric here today in Cross the Keel for the 15th anniversary of the Kells Road Races. And boy, do we expect to see such a lineup. We've got some of the top riders in Ireland and the UK, the likes of Ryan Fawkwar, the Dunlop brothers, Michael and William, and Keith and Moore, but to name a few. Of course, there will be weather intermittent problems today. That's going to cause a few difficulties for the riders, but of course, it will be much more exciting for us to watch. Stay with us. Thanks, Breed. Yes, we're all looking forward to this 15th Kells Road Races, which carries international status for the first time, promoted by the Kells Club, which, of course, are based in this wonderful heritage town here of Kells in County Meath. There you see the famous Cross of Kells and the town itself. Peaceful surroundings there, but won't be quite so peaceful when we move back to Cross a Keel here for a fantastic day's racing. Up to 30,000 fans anticipated to be here today, and there you see a number of them already taken up their advantage positions out around this course. And we now go back to Breed, who's with some of our leading riders. Michael, it's been a successful year to date for you. Yeah, we've had a good run all year. We've been very competitive, and we're coming here for another good run. I know it's pretty normal to you, but you're up against your brother again in the first race today. How do you feel to get on against him? Yeah, well, it's a 600 race up, and I know there are going to be a couple of competitive lads. I think Ryan Farquhar's going to be the man to beat, and Keith and Moore, and William won't be too far away, so just see how we get on. We'll see in the first lap where we're at in the race, and we'll take it from there. Well, Keith, due to the benefit of the championship this year, it leaves you on the front row for the first race. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm quite fortunate in that regard because uh, I'm, I'm in the top three in the championship, well, both championships at the moment, so yeah, it was just a bit unfortunate yesterday we didn't actually get time qualifying because of the, of the weather, but I think the organisers, they've done the right thing because it was a little bit uh, slippery to say the least out there yesterday. Ryan, about to tackle the 2.2 miles of the Kells circuit for the first time today. How are you feeling? Hi, things went. You know, I got out in one practice session yesterday evening in the dry, and it, you know, I felt quite comfortable. So we're going out here to do a, you know, a time session on my, you know, on my thousand cc bike to get grid positions to the grand final and the first open race. So hopefully the weather will stay stay good, you know, and everybody will get a good dry run today. But I'm looking forward to it. And there you see the chief scrutineer, Fran Scully, and the rest of his technical team hard at work just scrutineering all the machines to make sure that. All the machines and the riders' equipments, the helmets, boots, leathers and gloves are all up to the required standards. And now we're going to go on a lap of this Kells course with Emlyn Hughes taking his away from the start line here down through the first very fast right-hander. Not quite so fast in these conditions, but you can see Emlyn's on an exploratory lap here, but heading down now over Hanlon's Leap. I don't think they'll be getting the leap, he's just coming up there behind one of the other riders, Emlyn here from Rathfarnham in Dublin, known by most of the riders as Emo, former winner of the Max Grand Prix Newcomers race back in 1994, was semi-retired for a while but back out again over this past couple of years, so he's now down to the first right-hander in the circuit at McGee's Cross, where they accelerate out of that, and the strange thing about this Kells course, apart from a little left-hand kink as they get down to the next corner, nearly every or every other corner on is actually a right-hander, so very few left-handers, so really only the, the one side of the tire gets well used here as they get down to a little right-hand kink, getting faster and faster, and at this speed here, they'll be up to 150, 160 miles per hour as they break for the Kells corner. From there, they accelerate back up towards the start-finish area again, going through the sweep, and then just sweeping it around a little bit there to try the grip out and say you can see the damp patches there and then of course is a, a second generation rider his father Jerry was a well-known racer for some years as well and his mother there also goes to all of the events and in fact she surely used to lap score for me at some of the events years ago so they still all travel to the events as the family team but Emma now coming up to the point where all the fans flock to there on the Kells scores over a D's jumps and you'll see some fantastic shots there from the riders later on as they go over the top of that but now heading up towards the end of the lap here coming up to the Adelaide corner at the end of this 2.2 mile lap here it is one of the shorter courses here used in Ireland at the moment but there they come up to the final corner the marshal just there stopping out to bring this exploration lap for Emo 2 and then but that is a lap of Kells and it speeds that you can't actually see it but Unfortunately, the brothers are up and the rain is on as we get ready for the start of the first race when Breed is on the line with Ryan Farquhar. Ryan, an all welcome downpour there. Aye, and we've done our cycling up there and there's, you know, half of the circuit's really dry and the other half's wet. You know, it is a problem with tyres, so, you know, I think we're, 
we're reducing the race to six laps, you know, so everybody's nearly on wet tyres, so we'll just see how we get on. Cheers. Keith, luckily for the riders, it's drying up now. First race of the day, you ready? Yeah, it's, it's made things a little bit tricky because the bottom section of the, the circuit is bone dry. And we have wet weather tyres on and they're just, they're not designed to, uh, well, they're not really designed for the dry. So we're actually going to put, it's dry down the back and these tyres will melt. So we thought on a safety issue, we'd better change them back to an intermediate tyre. So we're just going to need to suck it and see. <laughs> Good luck with it. Thank you very much. So the Silversport race sponsored by Navin Commercials and the Nav Martin Finnegan Supporters Club is away. Down through the first right-hand corner, come down, you can see the spray going up there, so damp conditions on this part of the course as they come down. Now over Hamlin's Leap, down to McGee's Cross for the first time, this tricky right-hander, so is it going to be, it's drying up as they actually come down the road, so conditions down at McGee's Cross is drying. That's the conditions that the riders don't like. They don't like to mind it if it's all wet or all dry, but when it's mixed conditions, it's almost a little bit difficult for them to anticipate what's around the next corner. The second group, they're getting away. And again, you see the roads that they start, finish are damp. But now we're looking at Ryan Farquhar coming down to the Kells corner. That's through that little left-hand kink that I tell you about. He's coming down there, certainly keeping tight on the inside line there. A little bit of movement in the back of the wheel of the Kawasaki. Keith Amor just sitting in there behind him as they go through. Number 47, that is leading the second group through there. Mickey Fitzpatrick, but now we're back with the later over the days for the first time. Roads drying there as well as they come up through and then to the Adelaide corner for the first time. So Ryan Farquhar in the lead on the Kawasaki, Keith Amor second in the Wilson Creek Honda, that's Michael Dunlop in third spot and John Burroughs there in fourth position as they come down through this right-hander again, round about 100, 110 miles per hour in these Super Sport 600s, even in the wet as they come down through here, out over Hamlin Sleep and then coming down again on the second lap here of this 2.2 mile circuit here at Cross Akeel down into McGee's Cross Ryan just moving across there keeping Keith Amor at bay Ryan on the Kawasaki, Keith Amor on the Wilson Craig Honda going down this long stretch now as they come through that little right hand kink and then on the brakes for the Kells corner, breaking again there on the super sport machines from about 150 miles per hour, then they accelerate out of this, that's Gary Johnson Gary Johnson there going through on the Robinson Concrete Machine, but over the top of four days, it's Farquhar from Keith Amor. Up to the Adelaide corner for the second time. Ryan through there on the Kawasaki. Ryan there really looking good in these damp conditions. He certainly is a good wet weather rider. He just banged in a four-time winner there at the Southern 100 in the Isle of Man earlier in the week, so he really comes to Kells here absolutely on a high. Four wins in this event back in 2005, so could he repeat that four wins again today? Certainly he's in the lead here at this one as they go through there. The marshal displaying that red and yellow stripe flag to indicate that the surface is slippery. But Farquhar on the KMR Racing Kawasaki goes through, named after his two daughters, Keely and Maya. Keely and Maya racing there. He wins his own team this year, but he goes through. Keith Amor just sitting there behind him, the rider from Falkirk in Scotland, that's William Dunlop and the Chris Dowd racing machine going through on the inside of number 70, Victor Gilmer there, but over the top of the day, Sparkler just easing away a little bit, it looks like there, and that shot from Keith Amor coming up through the Adelaide corner here, another lap completed, still very damp and greasy conditions there, now they come down through that right-hander after the paddock, heading down over Hanlon's Leap again, this very fast and undulating part of the circuit and actually the narrowest part here of the Kells course coming down there.